Hey everyone, my name is Drew and we are here. This is going to be week one of a whole new league, a whole new concept. It's more or less a spinoff. This is going to be the PGL NU Cup. And as the name suggests, we are only allowed to draft NU Pokemon or below. I'm really excited about this. It seems like a whole lot of fun and a big opportunity to use a lot of mods that I normally wouldn't use. I honestly really like the way that my draft turned out and see here on the screen a few of the mods that I picked up. I believe my picks one, two, three are right there on the screen. Vikavolt, then Hall hunter and then malamar if i'm not mistaken and then actually those are my next three picks right there the alolan doug trio the cryogonal and the gigalith so these are my top six draft picks uh we do have 10 slots in our draft a kingler a leafion a mr mime and a pig knight now i did make some transactions i absolutely did so unfortunately that haunter is no longer a member of the bro bats how so we did end up dropping the pig knight and the haunter and we did end up picking up the pyroar and a toxicroak and we did have an option for an 11th pick if we wanted to in free agency and i picked up the guzzlord in free agency as well so that's going to be the full picture of the squad however those changes will not take full effect until week four so this is going to be more or less our squad for the first three weeks and as for sin team you can see um the starting's out of a rain team unfortunately we didn't find out until after the draft that drizzle would not be allowed because it is not allowed in nu normally so i'm sure he's going to make some changes to his team it's definitely going to be something to keep an eye out for in the weeks to come however he just doesn't have the automatic rain through abilities he can however manually set up rain and that is incredibly scary because a physical dragon dancing kingdra tears through my team in complete honesty there was not much that i could do against a kingdra that just wants to tear through my team right now so i'm going to do my best to stay out of that situation however looking at the rest of the team gastron is an incredibly difficult pokemon to break through and then the mawile is going to be really really scary for the specific team that I brought and then of course type null is an absolute monster now all my special attackers here carry the hidden power ground uh because I knew that that aggron would be a possibility and because of the mawile specifically so this did end up working out for me quite a bit and unfortunately his team as it was did make it a little bit weak to cryogonal freeze dry so I'm really hoping to be able to make that work other than that this is a grandinium z sand force alolan dug trio with the sand hopefully being set up by the gigalith an agility vicavol and a kind of a utility haunt does have the will-o-wisp uh can hit decently hard on its own and a uh, pretty standard malamar i believe it is max hp max attack adamant uh with the superpower obviously it's going to be the main move it's going for but it does have the trick room just in case he does get up that manual rain at any point now i thought he might have wanted to go a little bit harder rain than he did in this situation however manual rain is still a huge huge threat to my team like i said and of course the dragon dancing has to be stopped if i can help it at any point so with that i'm just going to get into it i believe i want to say that i just end up leading the vic of alt however i don't really quite remember all too well oh no I, I believe i led haunter actually because i think my thinking there was that haunter wasn't the most uh valuable to the overall team here so i wanted to kind of scout out the team and i think here he was kind of respecting the scarf maybe did, didn't want to risk hurricane missing this early on but um like i said i'm a pretty standard haunter i believe i'm focus ash now that i'm thinking about it and in comes this Mawile. Now here, obviously I have to fear the Sucker Punch. I do go for, go for the Sludge Bomb. He makes a great play, goes out into the immunity. But I am so afraid of the Sucker Punch at this point. I just end up going for the Will-O-Wisp here. And just trying to mitigate this thing for later on in the match. And this thing could get a free Swords Hands up if it wanted to. But it ends up going for the Fire Blast on the next turn. And uh, we take that reasonably well. It's Life Orbed Fire Blast. Um, it's pretty much fine. However, I do end up going for the HP Ground. I'm pretty much giving this thing up right now. I don't really see a whole lot of use for this Haunter in this match. And it ends up taking it out. I was a little bit surprised. I don't think that I calced it uh, in the moment. I just, I was just thinking, like, look, if, if it wants to take me out, it can take me out. I just want to get off as much damage as I can here with the uh, hidden power ground. And it ended up taking it out. And he brings in the king draw. Now, again, my biggest, biggest fear is that I'm giving him a free setup here. So I can, I can, I feel like I can handle manual rain. What I can't handle is dragon dancing. So I have to stay in. I have to will o wisp. I'm going to be faster um, to start off here. It did make sure that I outsped max speed uh, Kingdra, and I have to have to get off a Will-O-Wisp in, in case that this thing is in fact um, physical with that Dragon Dance. But it does give me an opportunity to see that no uh, no shenanigans are going on. It does give me an opportunity to scare him out with the Freeze Dry Coragonal. Um, he brings in the Agron for it, which 
ends up getting critical hit damage on the switch in which is really really unfortunate however because of the calcs that i did have available to me at the time i actually found out that this was not a defensive aggron uh, talk to him after the match i know it's uh max attack max speed aggron that crit might have mattered if he was defensive and it just would have helped ensure the ko through the shuckaberry on that in power ground however he wasn't so there wasn't really any way that he was going to be able to take it with or without that crit but yeah like i said if he was like max hp or whatever the case may be that crit absolutely would have mattered who knows who knows but uh he does uh end up going into the type null now here i've used the type null i know this thing gets iron head i'm really really afraid of that i don't really want to be messing around with this too much too much so i just end up going for the vicka vault now the vicka vault is a uh, max special attack adamant or sorry max special attack modest and it's just here to deal as much damage as possible so i kind of wanted to, wanted to bring it in here um to just kind of uh, wear down this type null and I know it's probably not going to be able to uh, do the damage that I really needed to against type null but I know that uh, type null is probably a Pokemon that I'm going to have to devote devote multiple Pokemon to having to take down being able to take down so I do end up going for a couple of um, Thunderbolts and I can ju I can judge by the damage that it's going to take a lot for me to be able to take this thing out but like I said my, my plan all along was to be able to bring in another Pokemon and he goes for the rest which is uh, really, really scary. Rest type null is is got to be one of the scariest type null sets because I, as you can see, I just spent so much resources trying to get its HP down low enough for my Malamar, which is supposed to be named Browser History. I shout out to my uh, Nihi Lego back in the PGL, but uh, I thought that this was a similar theme. I want to name it Browser History, and I just straight up misspelled it. It's completely my fault. Anyway, um, but. I can bring in my Malamar, and uh, this Malamar, first of all, can take hits decently well. Okay, that was a crit. That wasn't the best example, but uh, like I said, I am, I believe, max HP, max uh, attack, um, adamant, and with the leftovers, so I'm take, gonna, be, gonna be taking hits decently well. And uh, that superpower did so much damage, and then, of course, the second superpower is more than enough after that attack raise. So I am in decently good shape at this moment. Um, he's going to have to bring in something to deal with his Malamar, like, right now. And again, um, this Kingdra comes in. Now, I know this Kingdra is going to be able to take me out if it really uh, tries. However, I do go for Trick Room this turn, and I'm never able to get it off because Draco Meteor does more than enough in the situation. But I, again, I had to be, I had to be um, super wary in case it wanted to go for a Rain Dance. I couldn't um, let it do that for free, so I had to go for the Trick Room just in case it um, it found an opportunity to kind of reverse sweep me somehow with with uh, Hydro Pumps in Rain. But I do bring in the Cryogonal, and it does end up scaring this thing out. But now Cryogonal's in prime position to just. Oko, the rest of his team, the rest of his team is at least two times weak to freeze dry, so I'm able to take out the Pidgeot. Um, I'm going to outspeed the rest of his team, basically. I'm going to outspeed this Kingdra no matter what. And I do get the freeze dry off. And then his last remaining Pokemon is going to be the Gastrodon, I believe, yes. And that's going to be four times weak to freeze dry. My Cryogonal is going to be putting in the work. It gets four KOs in this match and sweeps with the final three KOs and that's going to be a 3-0 win in week one of the NU Cup. That was a lot of fun, uh, obviously, all the props to Sin. Like I said, I'm sure he would have constructed his team differently if he had uh, known that particular rule going into it, but he still absolutely has a very, very scary team on his hands. I'm excited to see what he'll do with it. But like I said, for the time being, the Brobats are 1 and 0 for the season at plus 3. And I'm just super excited about it. We are going to grind out for some more wins. We're going to do our best throughout this 8 week season, I believe, and we are going to go on a tear in the playoffs. I think that this team that we drafted is really really strong. I absolutely cannot wait to get off all the things that I want to get off. But with that, thank you guys uh, so much for watching. We'll be back with more PGL and new battles and if you guys made it this far we will have a new pgbl season coming really really soon i'm really really excited about the members that we have in this upcoming season hopefully you guys enjoyed too i have never been more excited to draft than uh during this summer where i have the nu cup a really revamped pgbl and i believe the second season of the ubl coming up very very soon but once again thank you guys so much for watching and up once again out